classmates, um, we did GTA 5 because me and Domenico have stage fright. We hate presenting, so we thought we'd make it fun for us, hopefully fun for you guys. And we did it on GTA. We did some gameplay. We did some commentary. So, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Domenico and Matias is a ISU project for school on terrorism. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing it on GTA because it's creative and we're awesome. And we thought it'd be fun, so yeah. We also have some other guys with us that are gonna make it more uh, live. And yeah, so first off, we're gonna start off by talking about why we chose this topic. We chose these vehicles because these are some sort of vehicles that um, television and news have basically um, showed us that terrorism groups in overseas use. Uh, yeah, the Taliban and Osama bin Laden and ISIS use these vehicles because they're quick, they don't have any armor on them, so they're light, and they have a huge gun on them, so, you know, you know how it goes. Stop blasting everybody. Then we have this. I don't know what would you consider this in real life, but in GTA, it's an insurgent, and it has a big 50 cal on it. This is armored, so it doesn't go that fast, but, um... In real life scenarios, I mean, it's protective, so yeah, I would understand why they use this. Here we have the Mesa, no armor, no guns, just really fast and uh, very sporty for off road. So, yeah, I mean, why wouldn't they use this? And then we have the Beast, the tank. Um, Domenico, you want to explain what this is used for? It's, it's very destructive. They can blow down yeah, buildings. Buildings, destroy cars, kill off civilians. Uh, yeah, they. This is a very, very dangerous very. machine. So now we're gonna. Uh, Because this happens almost every day in the world. Yeah. It kills billions. Very destructive. I mean, I mean, you might not know, but if you watch the news, it happens, like, often. Like, really often. And it's horrible. Like, 9 if... You what? Like, 9-11. Yeah, like, 9-11, like, the Parliament Hill shooting, and, like, the Boston Marathon bombing. I mean, it's overseas, but it affects everybody, like the Parliament Hill shooting, like um, the, I don't know what the guy's name is, I have it here, but uh, it's too much to look for on my notes, but yeah, he went up to the memorial, shot the, the officer, the military guy, and then killed him, not on the spot, but he was fatally shot and died a few minutes later, then he walked into Parliament and started firing shots I mean he was uh, motivated by the extremist groups so yeah I mean it affects us not directly but it affects us um, I mean this is what it would be like if you were overseas and yeah, this was going on.
definition for terrorism off Google. I went on Google and searched it, and I went on Wikipedia and it says, terrorism is commonly defined as a violent act or uh, or the threat of violent acts intended to create fear, which is terror. terror. Um, perpetrated for an economic, religious, political, or ideological goal, and which deliberately tar targets or disregard the safety of a non combat of non combatants which is um, neutral military personnel or civilians another definition sees uh, terrorism as a political um, ideological or religious violence by non uh, non state actors which is people out of the country or state or wherever you are from some definitions now uh, include acts of un on uh, unlawful violence or war. So, Dominica, what do you what what what's what's your definition of terrorism? What 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 do you when you hear that word, what comes to mind? When I think about terrorism, that it's caused a crisis in the world, mostly in Iraq and Syria. There are there are terrorist groups in uh, Iraq and Syria that's called ISIS. They are stealing and taking over oil compounds and cities and have a lot of connection to what the weapon is. They have a lot, have a lot of connection to like a weapon. Yeah, they do. Alright. Is, is, that, is that all? That's all in my head right now. The first thing I think of when I hear the word terrorism is 9-11. Because that was such a big event and no one's going to forget it because it was a really huge act of terrorism. I think over like 400 and something 440 officers and firemen I think died and even more like in the towers it was nuts but yeah that's that's the first thing that comes to mind like like huge acts of violence like like mass killings all at once like ISIS how they do the beheadings and just ruthlessness that's what comes to mind like just don't care it's awful but yeah they have they have uh, they have lots of connections to weapons, to like huge like armories, like tanks, like um, armored vehicles, which is nuts. I mean, like it's just in it's not it's it's incredible, but not in a good way. But yeah, that's the first thing that comes to my head when I think of terrorism. Just basically brutality. But yeah. Chosen. It's called ISIS, the, the making of a terrorist organization of CBC's news video. ISIS was created in Iraq, but slowly started moving into Syria. Right now, ISIS is the most dangerous terrorist group in the world. ISIS has tactics and views that include rape, torture, and mass murder. ISIS has ISIS has used the internet to recruit others to join the group and there are English so that, ah, so that the video can reach people in English speaking countries. Also, ISIS, ISIS has made a grooming video for Canadians showing a Canadian saying that he has chosen to, to join the Muslim terrorist group. But Canadian police are warning people to not get stuck into the video and to not join ISIS. Yes? Yeah? Yes. Alright, so right now we're going to reenact what Domenico just said, how they get people into ISIS organization group. So we're flying into Sunny Shores Airfield right now, an airfield in GTA 5, where we're going to go pick him up. So yeah in the rendezvous point and uh, we're gonna recruit some uh, teenagers for ISIS I mean I don't really know how it goes but um, I'm gonna try and get it done you know
Ow. Yo, boy, you wanna go work with ISIS? You? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Who's flying? Now I'm gonna talk about Paradigo, which is um, my first then, one. Right? Well, not my first one, it's my third one. I'm gonna start with it because we're in the plane and we're gonna crash to a building. 9 11, the 9 11 attack. So um, on September 11, 2001, 19 militants uh, of an uh, extremist group, um, Al Qaeda, hijacked four commercial planes and used them to carry out a, a suicide terrorism attack on the US yeah um, two of the planes hit the, the the World Trade Centers which is Twin Towers um, one for each uh, building um, the third hit the Pentagon which is where all the military um, basically all the military uh, secrets and um, the okay just military stuff goes on in there I don't really know how to explain it it's like that uh, Fort San Kudo over there, but um, uh, yeah, um, the there's a and and the other one was taken over by um, onboard passengers, but a crash in a field in Pennsylvania. It was um, a heading supposedly to the White House. Um, the 9/11 the 9 attack. Um, they're more known for the part where it happened in New York City with the Twin Towers, not really known for um, anything else. Over 3,000 people, including 400 police officers and firefighters, were killed in the, the efforts and aid. Um, in the Pentagon, 125 military personnel and civilians were killed. When the American Airlines Boeing 7767 that had 20,000 gallons of jet fuel crashed to the North Tower, the of the North uh, Trade Center or Tower, yeah. Um, no one knew what to think. The the crash left a huge um, huge hole near the 40th floor of the 110th story building. Right when impact happened, many and it killed many, but even worse, the people on the upper floors were stranded. So now I'm gonna cut back to when we actually um, crashed this plane to the building. T 
17, 2013 at the Boston Marathon, two pressure cooker bombs exploded at 2.49 p.m. Yeah, the explosion killed three people and injured about 264 others. The explosions were about 12 seconds apart, located at the finish line at um, Boyerson Street. The, the bombing led, uh, led two FI, <clears throat> FBI um, the bombing led two FBI, a Federal Bureau of Investigations, to take over the investigation. On April 18th, they released pictures and video footage, evidence of two likely suspects that caused the bombing. The, the suspects were identified as the Chit something brothers, okay, it doesn't matter who they are. Um, a little while after the, the pictures were released, two, um, those two individuals killed an MIT police policeman, um, stole a vehicle, and got into a shootout with uh, the local police at Waterton, Massachusetts. During the firefight, police officers were shot. Although he he um, he has loss, he has blood loss. He survived. Tamerlan was shot during the firefight, and soon after, his brother ran him over while trying to flee. Tamerlan was pronounced dead at the scene on April 19th at um uh on at the scene on April 19th a fierce manhunt for um this this hawkscar commenced police police asked residents of Watertown surround, and surrounded areas in Boston to stay indoors police transportation public public transportation businesses and schools were closed it looked like a ghost town. Around 7 p.m., a police, um, a man from Watertown spotted um, the, the guy um, hiding in a, can't really see his name, hiding inside a boat in his backyard. Uh, the authorities arrived, and he was then shot while in the boat. Um, um, in the boat. Um, yeah, um, and... Then they handcuffed him and arrested him. Um, he was taken to hospital. At the hospital, um, this this hawk's heart admitted to admitted that Tamerlan, his brother, was his brother had been the true mastermind. Their motive was caused by extremist Islamic beliefs and associ uh, and associated with the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. He said they he said they learned bomb build. To, to build a bomb from the, an online magazine of the Al Qaeda affiliates in Ye Yemen, he then admitted that he and his brother were set off, were set on going to go to New York City to bomb Times Square after the marathon bombing on April 22nd. This this Hawkshar was faced with 30 charges related to. Home, homegrown terrorism, which includes use of a weapon of mass destruction and destruction of property resulting in death. On top of that, 17 charges of um, punishable by death in America. Um, um, does this Hawkshar was had admitted to planting the bombs, and on April 8th. 2015, he was found guilty on all charges. He could now face death sentence or life in prison sentence without possibility of parole. And this is um, a little on how it played out. Liberia. The White House will host a meeting between the leaders of two or more governments 
on February 18 about the recent terrorist attacks in Paris, Sydney, and Ottawa. The mean blue government was during the U.S. attack in Paris in January. They think that attackers had linked to Al Qaeda's effort in Yemen. The mean that happened in Washington will be relating how to prevent violence measures and their supporters in the White House. They want to keep violence out of the United States. Who, who was ever involved in the White House meeting will include broad weight of foreign government officials and representatives from, from civil society and private sector. They are, trying to, they are trying to find a way to counter ways to stop counterterrorism. Their goal is to better understand, identify, and prevent to cause violence in the, in, in the United States. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Alright, so let me do it here a minute, Bill. Oh, over here, we're like having a meeting and kind of how to stop terrorism around the world, looks like in the United States. Yeah, this is, there. this is the meeting room. I mean, there's a blood spot right yeah. there, but it's okay. Alright. So, yeah, on to the next one. Let's go, boys. <laughs> a third article was the Parliament Hill shooting that happened here in Ottawa, Ontario, in Canada. Um, I believe that. My bad. Um, a, t yeah, a terrorist attack um, on Parliament Hill left one soldier dead. Uh, this is an act that ne uh, Canadians never thought would happen. Soon after, the man walked inside Parliament and started firing his weapon. This began. Um, this all began before 10 a.m. Shortly after the man was killed, uh, the chaos was over. Places such as uh, malls and buildings were under lockdown. Apparently, shots were heard at the nearby hotel and mall, which raised fear that there were more that there were more than one gunman. Prime Minister Stephen Harper said that he will find anyone who was associated with the with what happened, and that this this that this proves we are not immune from these attacks, terrorist attacks. Um, this even took place two days after a Montreal, so, um, a Montreal soldier was killed. Um, armed, armed police roamed, roamed the streets of downtown Ottawa. Witnesses say that witnesses say um, the saw the man pull out a rifle and shoot Nathan Cirillo. He died moments later. A th a th 32-year-old Michael Zahaf Bebo from Montreal was the shooter. The man then hijacked a car from um, the war memorial to the front doors or of parliament. When the police got to the car, it was too late. He was inside. He then made his way near the room where the MPs were having their meeting and opened fire. 14 seconds after the first shot, the man was shot dead. <coughs> Barack Obama called Stephen Harper to express his condolences to the families of the soldier and the Canadian people as a whole. Stephen Harper then goes on to say that we will stand strong and pull through. We will stand strong and pull through this. The, the opposition said that we will stand together, persevere, and prevail. Justin Trudeau said that we will that we are a, a nation of, of fairness, justice, and law, and that we will not be intimidated to ch into changing that. W Wesley Wark says no matter what his intent or no matter what his intense intent was or his overseas connections were, that that was a terrorist attack. They say that he killed a so they they say that he killed a, a soldier so it would um hurt the to the bone essentially to go deeper a few days later they said um they say that a video he left show i ideological and p political motives in the video he says he is attacking because canada's foreign policies and 
Allah. They are tight. They are <coughs> tightening up security around the around and in Parliament. Zihaf Babo, while working with his friends, started showing signs of extremism. Extremists. He wore a Arab dress every day. Showed Taliban bombings, bombings, and said they said they're justified. Joked around about being a suicide bomber. Drop dropping everything to pray five times a day and wanted to go live in Libya. He was a junkie, addicted to cocaine. Um, he could, he couldn't get Libyan, uh, Libyan passport so, um, so that he could have been, so that could have been another motive. Religious groups try to cause as much injury or death as possible. The more death, death is better because it is good for their cause. These groups like to have everything to go their own way. Hey, what's up? Oh, how can the I help? group, on the other hand, there. want to take control Enjoy. and have full power. The political groups want to kill or injure many people. The political groups try to get attention from the media and crowds. Terrorists excuse violent acts to produce a sensitive fear and make a concern. Terrorists also threat and break the government so that they overreact. Statistics from st statistical.com. Um, terrorism has caused around 130,000 fatalities worldwide between 2006 and 2013. Although the number of terrorist attacks from 2006 to 2013 have decreased, there have been approximately 90,000 total terrorist attacks in this time period. Number of, the number of terrorist attacks was distressingly high during the early 2000s due to the terrorist attacks by Al-Qaeda on the United States and the wars in the Middle East during this time period. In the past year, the country, was most, the country with the most terrorist attacks was um, Iraq, followed by Pakistan and Afghanistan. Altogether, the number of terrorist attacks in these countries amounted to around 7,400 attacks. The, num the, high, the, the high number of, of attacks becomes of great relevance due to the fact that these three countries amount to the, to the, double, of, to the double of the combined attacks in, others, in the other seven nations and the top 10 countries with the most terrorist attacks in the past year. Despite having been the country with the most terrorist attacks in 2013, there were more fatalities due to terrorist attacks in Afghanistan in 2011 than Iraq. The most notorious group of carrying out such terrorist attacks is Al-Qaeda and 14 different terrorist attacks in 14 countries throughout the world. The combined death, death total was around 4,000 deaths. From a global point of view, the region in the world with the highest number of terrorist attacks in recent years was the Near East and South Asia. The number of terrorist attacks in the region in 2011 amounted to almost 8,000 attacks. The number of terrorist attacks in this region is more than the triple of the, of the attacks in Africa, Europe, Eurasia, East Asia, and the Pacific and Western Hemisphere combined. Despite not being the most common types of attacks, type of attack in
in acts of terrorism in recent years, the greatest number of deaths come from the bombing related types of terrorist attacks with primary targets being civilians and police officers, which is like the Boston Marathon bombing. These stats are from 2013, but they're um, pretty relevant. D this doesn't take into consideration, well, I guess it kind of does, when um, ISIS was starting to where they are now. I mean, there's probably way more deaths, way more way more s statistics on that. But uh, And it doesn't also doesn't take into consideration the 9-11 attack. So, I mean, it, it's probably way more than it says there from uh, those time periods. But, uh, yeah. Stop terrorism is by killing all ISIS soldiers because they have a lot of resource and they're too strong in their opinions to ever back down. This terrorist group has done a lot of terrible things to thousands of innocent people. For example, they rape, kill, and torture people and make videos of what they're doing to show people they're scared and feel threatened by them. A lot of time, Suicide bombers walk into a crowd space and blow themselves up because they want to hurt and kill how many they can. In my opinion, this is a bad way for us to spread their message and they should be punished for it. There are some people that believe the only way to end terrorism is through war, but there are others who believe that more violence is not the answer. Personally, I think that to take action, like for ISIS, uh, they're recruiting people from Canada, from all different uh, other places from around the world. So I think that they they should just stop anyone from, like the first sign should be like, uh, like how I said before, where like the guy was praying like five times a day, right? Stopping work to pray. He was showing bombing videos. I mean, that should be a sign right there that he's extremist, right? And that's how we should like stop it. The first signs, and after after that, like if you try and get a passport or to like those um, Middle Eastern countries, like Iraq, Afghanistan, you shouldn't let them. I mean, we should control more of that. Like uh, I was watching the CBC new interviews for the Parliament Hill shooting. Like um, Stephen Harper said, we should be more aware, more controlling. I mean, not too controlling, but more aware. Not to the point where they know everything that we're doing online, but yeah. Counterterrorism um, incorporates, which is anti-terrorism, incorporates the practice, um, the practice, military tactics, techniques, and strategies that governments, military, police, and businesses, organizations use to combat and prevent terrorism. So, which is like drones and troops, and yeah. Terrorism or terror has been going on for a long time. I mean, back in. Uh, 1973, the reign of terror, where um, it was uh, the French Revolution. They were hunting people to hit them with, uh, to cut their heads off with the machine, the guillotine, because they weren't following their traditions or beliefs. So yeah, they were terrorizing them. So it's been going on for a long time now. I mean, this they we're playing GTA because I mean, it would, that would be fun to reenact it, be creative, you know. Um, that would, you guys would enjoy too, maybe. I mean. Yeah, I mean, but there's other games that take ser terrorism seriously, like Call of Duty. I mean, I, th I think they make it to be something that it's really not. They try and make it worse than it actually is. I mean, terrorism is bad, but I mean, they're going to show us what they want to see. Like, I've, I've watched a documentary where the United States um, Army goes and terrorizes people in Afghanistan and all of those other countries. They, they literally just barge in there with their helicopters, come down and shoot up families for no reason. No reason at all. I mean... They show us what they wanted to see, but I mean, I thought it would be a good topic and have some fun with it. So yeah, I mean, yeah, terrorism is going on for a long time, and I mean, it won't stop anytime soon. So yeah, so thank you, Dominico, for helping me, and thank you, other guys. I mean, you can turn your mics on now, but no swearing, because I know you guys like to do that a lot. Stefano um, and uh, Mitchell. There was also Cos, Cosmo, Lucas, um, Matthew. Thanks for helping us with the video. It was awesome. Mitchell, you can turn your mic, mic on now. Makes it won't turn it on. Alright, well, thank you guys for helping. Domenico, you have anything you want to say? Domenico?
Anything you want to say? You don't know? Okay. There's one thing. I, one last thing I have to say. There's just one last thing I have to say. If you like this video, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, and subscribe because I'm gonna be posting way more like gaming videos of Call of Duty, GTA, with Dominico and them. So I mean, if you like the content, then subscribe. I mean, hopefully you enjoy it. And the map's not loading because GTA 5 on last gen is third. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy it, and we're out.